Hey food and sports fans, I'm El Simone Scott from America's Test Kitchen and today we're making weeknight beef stew for two with two of my favorite Detroit Pistons. We have Isaiah Stewart and we have the Rick Mahorn. Isaiah Stewart represents Rochester, New York and Jamaica. He's number 28, which is the best number because that's my birthday, 1128. Welcome Isaiah. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. You ready to cook? Oh yeah, I'm ready to heat it up in the kitchen. All right, that's what I heard. So we're gonna get started. But first, I have to introduce Rick Mahorn, my favorite bad boy. You know the bad boy era, 85 through 89, the best time in the NBA. He's been in the staple in the NBA since 1980. He's coached WNBA. He knows all things sports commentating, and uh, he continues with the franchise today. So welcome, Rick Mahorn. Well, thank you, Al. I'm glad to be here just to show my Jamaican brethren that I can uh, <laughs> I could still slap the pots a little bit too, man. So <laughs> I, I'm not going. You know, he's a he's a power. Was a power forward. He was a power forward. So we're gonna see who's got the strongest beef stew. Well, I mean, hey, listen. I I also, as a former athlete, was a power forward. So I think we kind of all have something in common. We might have the same strategy for cooking this meal, but we're gonna see. So let's get started. Um, let's see where you at. Um, Rick, how's your beef? Do you have your beef laid out and ready? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. I, <laughs> I got my beef right here. I'm all good here. All right. Let me see. All right. So everybody's beef needs to be um, padded dry with paper towels already cut and ready to go. Y'all are on top of it. Okay. Let's just put a, we're going to turn our fire on. Our pot should be on the stove at medium high, right? And to that, we're gonna add some oil. Hey, 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 Isaiah don't even know how to turn it on. <laughs> I'm about to blow something up. Oh, there we go. There we you go. You said medium? Medium high. You said me mm -hmm. medium high. Now, what is medium high? Medium high, it, it's the number or what? I mean, I'm sitting here, number nine, number eight, number seven, number six. That's a good question. It's probably like a six, seven. I don't know, Rick, you're making me nervous with these questions. I heard I heard your breakfast for dinner game was on point, so I'm expecting you to really knock it out. This ain't eggs, but we good. <laughs> <laughs> it is not. Isaiah, how you doing over there? I'm doing good. The stove is on. Stove is on. All right. Okay, let's put, so you should have four tablespoons of oil. Um, you only need half of that, so put half in, because we're going to cook this beef in two batches, okay? Don't don't put the beef in yet. Let it let it get to, let it get a little let the, let it get a little smoky. Hey L, I'm gonna do what my mother used to do when she wanted the chicken grease to be nice and hot. What she get did? Get a little water and just she'd get a little water on her hand and, and flick it in. And test like, it out. Yes. Yeah. 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 So you want me to do that? I mean, I think you you'll know if it's shimmering in the pan. If the bottom of the pan looks shiny, it's ready. Oh no. Okay. It just popped. Yeah. There you have it. There's it's time All to right, go. So, so, so what am I doing next? Now you're gonna put half of this beef in the pan. Not all of it at one time. You don't wanna crowd the crowd the saucepan. Oh man, I think they try to set me up. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, uh, come on, rookie. Come on, rookie. <laughs> I just need a little bit more oil. You hear that sizzle? How's it going, Stu? It's going good, putting some of the beef in. All right, don't forget, we're not gonna cook it all, right? So we're browning it. It's already smelling good. So we're using sirloin tip steaks with this recipe because normally that's not what we would use for beef stew. Like normally um, we would use like a chuck eye roast or something like that, right? Because it cooks for a long time, but this is a weeknight beef stew, so it's gonna cook fast. So we're using steak tips. That means they're gonna be tender really quickly. Dude, what's your smell like, man? Hey, smell it's like not, frog meat. Nah, Dude, it's not good, good over here. Hey, hey, Stu, you see that? This is how you brown it a little bit. Give it a little, give it a little shake. Give it a little shake. Like you was doing last night on the court, giving them a little shake. Ow, I hear that. I hear that. All right, I'm taking my first batch of beef out now. Rick, where are you? You ready to take out? Yeah, if you like a little bit of medium rare. No, I mean medium. I want it just brown. It's going to cook. Yeah, you just want it to brown because it's going to cook a little bit more in the stock. So, well, you know, we're going to we're going to build a base for the stew and it's got it's going to have time. Oh, no, I kind of like my beef a little bit darker than this. No, nah, man, you, you can't mess up beef. You just you just can't. You got to make sure that uh, you have the flavor. It should be brown, though. Are you seeing brown, Isaiah? 
Oh, no, it's brown for sure. Okay, well don't worry, it's gonna cook. It's gonna cook all the way. Once we start building the broth of the stew, it's gonna, it's gonna do its thing. I, I will not let you down. I'm gonna set you up to win. Okay, so do I put more oil in the pan? Yeah, you put a, another two teaspoons of oil in the pan and then you brown the rest of that meat. Okay, two stages, right? Yep, two stages. This is so we're not crowding the pan so the meat can get brown properly, right? All right, well, I got a little, I got a little Detroit trivia I want to ask y'all while we're cooking. Are you ready for some trivia? Yes, I am. What you got? Name one mayor of Detroit, one former mayor of Detroit. Which one do you want? Anyone. You want Mayor Young or you want Dave Big? Which one? All right, you got it, Rick. Mayor, either one will do. Either one will do. Wait a minute, I, I got to let's see, do I know any more? I should, oh my gosh. Uh, How could you forget the Dennis most famous? Archer Dennis Archer Jr. Dennis Archer Jr. Dennis Archer Jr., that's right. All right, I'm taking this beef out. I got another question for you. This, this one might be a little uh, over your radar, Rick, but I'm gonna ask anyway. I need to know the name of two Detroit rappers. Isaiah, go. Uh, I say Big Sean and 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 them. All right, all right, okay. So so far it's a, a tie on the score. I like that. How's your beef coming? Is your second beef ready? Yeah, I'm taking it out right now. All right, that's what's no, up. I'm just putting mine in. When you get that second round of beef out, you make sure you lower your heat to medium, okay? Which will be five. That will be five. Yes, sir. Isaiah, when you're ready, you should add your onions and your carrots, okay? So I, I, can't, I can't name any rappers. That's all right. Isaiah got it. Remember, rap started when I was in school. Okay, well, there, there's at least two more. Name me one more, Rick. Give me one more rapper. No, I, ain't gonna name, I don't want to <laughs> name any more. Mm. Okay, all right. Okay. I'm not going to name D12 or none of them. No. Uh, no. Okay, you're right. You're so right. Okay, so you want it on medium, right? And once you've taken the beef out, you can add your carrot and your onions. Mm. The sweet savory. That's right. This is how we're building the sauce. Building the, the, the stew of the stew. It's going to come out real good. Whoa. Got any Coney? You got any Coney's to go with these onions? Oh, right. Okay, so you get that was you. You gave away one of my questions. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't go ahead of me, Rick. Don't go. That's see all that coaching. That's what it is. You ahead of the game. Okay, name me one one famous Detroit dance. The Percolator. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? I think the Percolator <laughs> is Chicago, but we are we do no. we do percolate. It's not. Chicago, what was the, 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 what's that one, the line dance when they do that? Oh, yeah. Well, we, we do, um, okay, I'm going to give you a hint. You're moving your feet, right, and your arms like this, right? Jitting. Yes, Detroit is known for its jit capital. All right, so we got our onions in, we got our carrots in. That should go for about five minutes. Mine has been going for about five minutes. Where, where is everybody at? Let's check in. Let's, let's huddle. I'm behind Isaiah a couple of minutes. I'm about a good three minutes. So I'm adding, um, after five minutes, I'm adding the tomato paste. I'm adding the thyme, garlic, and anchovy. So the anchovy is going to give this a little bit of a umami, a little extra umami. What is it, umami? So umami is, um, it's a, like a flavor profile. It's kind of like that taste that you get from like meat or mushrooms. It's kind of like that richness. It's the deep, earthy yeah, kind of taste. Yeah, that deep depth okay. of flavor. Yeah, and because we're not cooking this for a long time, the anchovy is going to do that work for us. It's going to give us that umami. Ooh, okay. All right, Stu, you got your, you got your goods in there? You getting ready to put your um, tomato paste and... He said he will he will not be shown out. <laughs> and he's he killing the game. Awesome. That's a good thing, man. Many <laughs> people as you've been knocking down Isaiah. Uh, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna speak about that. No, I'm not gonna speak about that. Come on, man. You talking to a guy that used to knock everybody on their ass. Oh, then <laughs> they used to call you and um thump and bump. Who was that? <laughs> you mean Bill Lambeer, the bad boys. And, yeah. Or you want to talk about me and Barkley? You and Barkley, they, yeah, they used to call y'all thump and bump. I love that. 
All right, so once that's cooked for just a few seconds, you're gonna add the flour in for one minute, that little bit of flour. Oh, the all-purpose flour? Yeah, that little bit of flour. And then stir everything around. That only needs just a quick little, Whisk. quick little, yeah, little 30 seconds in there. All right, so you're gonna get your red wine. It's only three tablespoons of red Did wine. Did we drink it? Isaiah, you ain't, you ain't old enough. And then you're gonna take your whisk and get, and get all of that good fond off the bottom of your pot. It's gonna get pasty really quickly, but you're just gonna- It's pasty you, now. Yeah. Do I need to whisk it, you said? Yeah, just take your whisk and, and scrape up. Well, you wanna scrape up the fond that's on the bottom of the pot, cause that's where all your flavor lies. Oh, I got it. Yeah? I'm using this bigger this thing that I'm gonna throw at somebody. <laughs> All right, so now that we've done that, we're going to stir in our broth. You have one and a half cups of beef broth ready. I like to just kind of stir a little bit at a time so I can get the fond from the bottom of the pot. Stu, your mama going to be so proud to see you. You come from a family of like food people, farmers, right? Yeah. So cooking ain't new to you. Oh, yeah. It's looking good. Once you put those potatoes in though, I want you to go medium low, all right? So we're gonna let this simmer for about 15 minutes. And you want this on what heat? Medium low, this should be on medium low and we're gonna cover it. Hope you have your covers ready. And let it simmer for 15. What I'm gonna do and what you probably can do if you like is to think about what you want to top your beef stew with. Like I wanna see some garnish happening. I want to see some hot sauce, saucing, whatever. Don't be cheating. I'm not cheating. <laughs> not you. I ain't talking about you. <laughs> Me? <laughs> oh. Which Pistons player is featured in a Super Nintendo game called Combat Basketball? Dennis Rodman, Bill Lambeer, Mark Aguirre, Isaiah Thomas. I already know the answers. On Bill Lambeer. That's right. In 1991, Bill Lambeer's Combat Basketball was a futuristic video game that took place in the year 2031. Um, he played for the Pistons at the time. The team was notorious for aggressive and physical play. I love that. It's a very signature Detroit. We play hard. All right, great. Which Piston was the first recipient of the NBA Sportsmanship Award? Grant Hill, Joe Dumars, Dennis Rodman, or Alice, Allen Houston? Come on, Stu. I know you know this one. I'm getting killed in this trivia. No, uh, you, you know, I'll give, I'll give you a hint. Wait, don't get, no, don't give him a hint. Don't give him a hint. Listen, just I'm listen. Give him a hint because it's too easy, it's, L. Come I on. know. That's why. Let me just, L, let me on. just I name. Gotta, I got to give my, I got to give my <laughs> NBA brother and my Jamaican brother some love. Okay. All right. Uh, one hint. Okay. So. Uh, it, it, he played for the Pistons. That's who you need to, that's who has the citizenship award. Can I get those next? Yeah, I need a name. All right, so, so, so Stu, this is the Sportsmanship Award, okay? okay? Sportsmanship. It's the Sportsmanship Award. Grant Hill. Which we'll never get. <laughs> <laughs> Grant Hill, Joe Dumars, Dennis Rodman, Allen Houston. Sportsmanship. He played with me. Well, I played with two of those guys on there. Man. His number's in the rafters, but it's not Rodman. It's not Houston. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with Dumars. Yeah, that's oh, there it. There you go, my man. That's right, Stu. My you man. got it. Exactly. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, let's go back to some little Detroit trivia so we can give Stu a moment to catch up. Stu, name two restaurants in Detroit. It can be any two that you can think of. Name me two. Uh, I say Bobo Detroit and the Shinola. All right, sounds good. I know Shinola's restaurant has another name, but that is a restaurant and it does count. There you go. All right. Okay, Stu, you need to know this. And if anybody ever asks, you need to have the answer to this question. Who is the tallest player in Pistons history? This is the only one that I got wrong. Uh, was it, was it uh, Boban? Was it? Nope, no? that's what I said. That's what oh, I oh, guessed oh, too. Oh, hold on, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna give you a hint. Okay. P, B. P, you said T, B or P, B? P, B, like P, B and J, P, B. P, B. 
I, I think I told you wrong. I'm it. so sorry. <laughs> they telling you, you wrong, L. No, no, right. <laughs> Chuck Nevitt. <laughs> <laughs> What's so Chuck funny Nevitt. is I was like, <laughs> I love that it makes all these sounds when, when you're wrong. Here I am, wrong oh. as ever. Who is a Detroit Pistons career leader in points, assists, and steals? Isaiah Thomas, Dave Bing, Bob Lanier, Joe Dumars. Easy. Isaiah Thomas. You got that right. You better get that right. You better know what Isaiah's doing. It's his name, say. It's got, a, it's got yeah. a name. Isaiah's familiar. That's right. That's right. Okay. Which Detroit Pistons coach has the highest winning percentage? Flip Saunders, Chuck Daly, Rick Carlisle, Larry Brown. Larry Brown. I'm going with Larry Brown. All right. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> hey. Ah, that's not it. Nah, <laughs> 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 nah. All right. Come on. Come on. Who is it? You want... You want me to name it? Or yeah, you come on. You, you got it. You got it. Who is it? Come on, it's Chuck Daly. <laughs> Ooh. No, no, no. Rick, not Rick. No, it can't be Rick Carlisle. He's only here a couple of years. Flip Saunders. Flip Saunders is the franchise all-time leader in regular season winning percentage. Point was it set point seven one five. He led the Pistons to three consecutive Central Division titles and three consecutive appearances in the Eastern Conference Finals. I gotta raise my hand on this one, L. Yes. He was only here three years. He was only here three years. Well, it said three consecutive appearances. I mean, yeah, that was that like every year of his three years? Yeah, that's that's because he took what Larry Brown had. I don't know, that's three years. Don't get, bless his soul. Bless Flip Saunders' <laughs> soul. But, mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's always room for correction. All right, we only got two more. Let's check our uh, let's check our broth and see where we are. Okay. Mm, 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 over here. Nah, it's all good here too. All right, excellent. The next question is, what is the Detroit Pistons mascot? A bird, a horse, a cat, a dog? A horse. That's right. Hooper is the Pistons mascot. I did the JIT with the Hooper one time. Many years ago. Oh, you did? I did. I you did. Are you going to show us what the jit is? Show me what the jit is. I want to see. Rick, I am, ahead, ahead. I am 44 years old. I don't even think that my body can want, listen, even I, imagine. I don't even, even want to hear that. If I want to hear. I want to see it. I can give you like some. Uh, oh, I'll get it, girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> some general moves. <laughs> Isaiah, do not laugh at Rick Mahorman. <laughs> my jitting. You're all right. It's all good. You represent the D. I am all the time. My phone number is still 313. That's how Detroit I am. I've been out of Detroit over 10 years, and I just will not change my number. I refuse. I got more trivia. You all ready? Well, yeah, let's do it. All right. So who was the first Piston to win the Sixth Man of the Year Award? Corliss Williamson, Allen Houston, Ben Gordon, or Vinny Johnson? I'm going to go with... Corliss Williamson. That's the one. Corliss Williamson served a pivotal role <laughs> coming off the bench in the Pistons in 2001 and 2002 season, averaging 13.6 points per game, earning NBA Sixth Man of the Year award. Stu, don't worry. We're going to get you up. Stu, you would have loved to play against him. He was a shorter kind of a shorter power forward. Uh, he, he was mean. You, you would have had a battle with him. Yeah, he, he was a little from aggressive. Arkansas. <laughs> oh, it smells good over here. Oh my, that gravy looking good. Yeah, it's looking <laughs> proper, right? And just imagine we're we're doing this in like basically under like thirty minutes. And normally beef stew is like a slow cooker meal or a stockpot meal that takes hours, right? We're we're cutting down a lot of time. Nobody would ever know. Stu, you ready for your next step? How's it going over there? Let me see. Bring, Stu, bring your pot to the camera. I wanna, I wanna take a look. See, let me see what you got mm. going on over there. Just give it a little tilt. I'm, I trust you. I just wanna, I wanna see. I just mm. wanna show and prove. Okay, okay. Let me see, Rick. Rick is so competitive. I love it. Yes. Let me show you mine. Come on, 
Oh, Stu, look at you. Yeah. I smell it burning, Stu. I smell it burning. Oh, that looks oh, so look good, good, Stu. Good job. Looks good, man. Yeah, good job. Okay, so I want you to go ahead and put your beef in there. I mean, I'm going to click on a new little trivia moment so we can close it out good. All right, you're going to stir in your beef, any of the juices that are in your bowl with your beef that you were had to the side. I'm going to let that last drop get out. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. I want Still, all of it. I want it all. Yeah, we worked hard. How long are we going to have this simmer in? Not long. This only this only um, simmers just for a couple of minutes, actually. Um, but you got to put your soy sauce in. You got your little soy sauce. That's adding a little bit more depth of flavor. And then the peas. Those frozen peas. That's the peas. You can actually turn the heat off now. T taste your potatoes and just make sure that they're tender like you like it. Oh, it looks good. It smells good, too. You guys did a really great job. Hey, Stu, you got to serve this to <laughs> Sadiq. <laughs> see, see if he likes it. I'm going to put a little salt and pepper in just to taste how I like it. It's a good time to add it now if you like. Wow, this looks great. Look at that. Hearty beef stew in under 30 minutes. Weeknight beef stew for two, we did it y'all. I'm so excited. I wish I was home to eat dinner with y'all. If it wasn't COVID, we would be eating this together. Next time though. Well, we can always make you a to-go plate. <laughs> <laughs> it's very kind, very kind. I do appreciate that. All right, is anybody ready to plate up? I'm pretty ready to plate up, yeah? You got your bowls ready? All right, let's do it. Can we put it on top of some rice? If you like, if you like your beef stew on top of rice, you are perfectly allowed to do that. Okay, do you have uh, your garnishes for your beef stew? I'm gonna use parsley. What do you all have for garnishes? Sauces, sour cream. Sour cream and parsley. All right, go for it, go for it. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of parsley in there. All right. All right. Isaiah, you ready to give it a taste? Rick started without us. He was a little hungry. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. I said my grace. As I long as you grace. blessed it, as long as it's blessed. All right. Oh. I'm going to go in. I like to have a little bit of everything in one spoonful. I don't even got a spoon. I'm going in with a fork. Wow. That's pretty tasty. Rick, you like it? Did you try it yet? You like it? Now see, I would put, cause I like heat. Mm-hmm. So I'd put some more heat on this for me. That's what I heard. This is good. It's good, you yeah, like it? Very good. Hell, this is good. I'm so glad you enjoy it. Does this make me an official um, bad girl slash pissing? Mm, you're a bad girl. Awesome. You heard it here, folks. I'm bad, my beef stew is bad, stew is bad, Rick Mahorn is bad. Detroit is the baddest. Really appreciate you and continue to, we gonna have some fun cooking. I'm gonna try a little bit of this sour cream now. Thank you, I appreciate you. I'm gonna uh, get busy. I'm so happy that you guys cooked with me today and I'm even more excited that you now know how to make a weeknight beef stew for two.